Welcome back to our uh, sessions on differential calculus. Uh, I will uh, continue where I had left before. Uh, before I start uh, today's talk, let me briefly recall what we had done last time. Uh, last time we were uh, seeing what, uh, just one minute, what pedal equation was. Uh, Okay, let me get the presentation up. No problem. Okay. Uh, so last time we decided we understood what a pedal equation was. So let me get I know why presentation is taking so much time. Yeah, okay. So I had done this already once before. I'll just very quickly uh, recall what we had done. So we know equation of a circle of radius A is x square plus y square equal to a square equation of the circle passing through uh, whose center is origin and radius A. And equation in polar coordinates of the same curve is x square plus y square equal to a square. Uh, sorry, equation in polar coordinates is r equal to a. Equation in Cartesian coordinates is x square plus y square equal to a square. And we know from high school geometry that tangent to circle at any point is perpendicular to the radius at that point. You take circle equation I given in two forms. Take any point on the circle, draw a tangent to it. The tangent is perpendicular to, if you draw the tangent means it's touching the curve at one point. So draw the radius which passes through that point, means the center of the circle and that point. Now that radius is perpendicular to tangent. This is what we know from our high school days. And let's call this, uh, this perpendicular distance from the origin to the tangent, which is same as the radius vector, radius here. So that distance, if I call it P, uh, I could have written the equation R equal to A as P equal to A, because P is equal to R in this case. Basically, we want to extend this to other uh, curves also. This idea of trying to capture the curve in terms of perpendicular distance of the tangent from the center. This is what we want to do. So let us uh, see how to go about doing this. So let f uh, r equal to f theta be a polar curve and choose any point on this curve and uh, draw a tangent to the curve at that particular point. And now P is the distance between O and the tangent. Uh, if you can write the equation in terms of P and R, that is called the pedal equation. So let's show uh, very quickly GeoGebra recap of this situation. So uh, first I start with uh, blank page. Here is my blank geometry page. So I start with the initial point and the initial line. Mm, this is the initial line. And then I'll start with some curve, C R equal to F theta. It's some curve, we don't care what it is. Some curve, polar form is given, uh, polar equation is given, In the curve is given in the polar form. I'll pick up an arbitrary point P on that. And I'll call this as R. So as I move P, Obviously, R will change. P will move only on the curve. How does it move? R equal to F theta. What is theta? This is the angle. We know this angle of the radius with the initial line. And uh, what we are trying to say now is you draw a tangent. So try to recall what I said. So here is R equal to F theta curve. You pick up a point on that curve. And now I, if I take radius vector and angle theta, R equal to F theta is the path of the point P, locus of point P, which is same as the curve is given by R equal to F theta. Now draw a tangent to the curve at P. Here it is, tangent to the curve at P. You can see as I move it, as I move the point on the curve, the tangent is also changing. Then uh, I will uh, draw uh, this uh, perpendicular distance from O to the tangent. How do I get that? Basically, I drop a perpendicular from O to the tangent. So this is the tangent. You can see as I move the tangent, as I move the point, tangent is changing. And uh, hence, of course, the perpendicular to that also will keep changing. 
So we want to know this distance OM. I'm going to call it P. So this is this is P. P is basically OM, which is distance from the tangent to the origin. That's the initial point. So that is my P. Relation between R and P is the pedal equation. And uh, we also have, we have already used these notations. Uh, this is angle psi, angle between tangent and the initial line in this sense. And also we know this is phi. Phi is angle between radius and tangent. These are standard notations. I won't spend time every time recalling all these things. So phi is, uh, you know, you can also treat OPM as phi. It's because after all vertically opposite angles. So this is phi. I, I, sometimes I'll say this is phi. Sometimes I'll say this is phi. Both are same vertically opposite angles. Why do I need this? I want relation between R and P. That's very easy to see. You see, if this is phi, of course, I know this is 90 degrees because that's how I have chosen M. I have chosen M on tangent such that OM is perpendicular to the tangent. That is basically the small p is a perpendicular distance from origin to the tangent. So this is 90 degrees. So if this is phi, OPM is phi then sine phi is om divided by op om by op om is p op is r so sine phi is p by r which is same as saying p is equal to r sine phi that is essentially what pedal equation is so that's what i have written here p equal to r sine phi is the pedal equation uh, we, i i don't know phi but I know tan phi. I know how to find tan phi. That's what we have already discussed. Tan phi is r d theta by dr. So, uh, you know, you can make up this artificial uh, relation between them. I know tan phi. I want to know sine phi. Why do I want to know sine phi? If I know sine phi in terms of r, and uh, then I can substitute that here. r and theta. Then I can substitute that here. So uh, let me show you what I'm doing so somehow i want to relate tan phi which is r d theta by dr to sine phi i want to so i know tan phi i want to find sine phi that's the bottom line so here it is uh, standard trigonometry from your class 12 tan phi is r, t, r d theta by dr means cot phi is 1 by r dr by d theta i'm just taking reciprocal of this so 1 by p square p is r sine phi so 1 by p is 1 by r sine phi which is same as saying 1 by p square is r square sine square phi. If I take sine square phi up there, it is cosecant square phi. So 1 by p square is cosecant square phi by r square. But cosecant square phi is 1 plus cot square theta. Why did I want all these things? Because I want to get rid of sine phi and I want to put tan phi instead of that. That's the bottom line. So 1 by a cosecant square phi by r square is 1 by r square into 1 plus cot square phi which is same as 1 by r square into 1 plus cot square phi is just 1 by tan square phi which is 1 by r dr by d theta whole square that's what i have written here so you open out the bracket it is 1 by r square plus 1 by r power 4 into dr by d theta whole square so 1 by p square is equal to 1 by r square plus 1 by r power 4 into dr by d theta whole square this is a relation between r p and theta so this is pedal equation you can if you can remember this well and good but there's nothing much to remember as you can see you can derive this very easily derivation uh, is pretty straightforward no problem so this is the pedal equation of the curve relation between r p and theta so all three of them are there that is pedal equation so let's see an example so for this curve r is equal to a into one plus cos theta we want to prove that p is r cos theta by two that's so the problem given so I, basically pedal equation is what has been asked this is the pedal equation p is equal to r cos theta by 2 so how do i do that uh, try differentiating the given curve with respect to r and you get directly if you differentiate this with respect to r you'll get 1 is equal to minus a sin theta it is a minus sin theta d theta by dr which is a minus a sin theta d theta by dr which means d theta by dr is minus 1 by a sin theta 
uh, I know tan phi is r d theta by dr, r is same as a into 1 plus cos. This is something which we have done before. Uh, tan phi is, you know, usual manipulation r into d theta by dr, which is this. So I get one in a into 1 plus cos theta by minus a sin theta. So you rewrite this in the elementary trigonometry, you'll get tan phi is tan pi by 2 plus theta by 2. Uh, but that, that means phi is equal to pi by 2 plus theta by 2. Uh, so p is equal to r sin phi is the pedal equation p equal to r sin phi so r phi is same as pi by 2 plus theta by 2 so i'll write that here but sine of pi by 2 plus alpha uh, or something pi by 2 plus x is uh, cos x so sine of pi by 2 plus theta by 2 is cos theta by 2 so i'll write r cos theta by 2 that's what i wanted p is equal to r cos theta by 2 that's what i wanted to prove so basically there's nothing much you just differentiate this with respect to r and figure out what is d theta by dr why are you wanting to do that uh, i have uh, d i have tan phi expression for tan phi uh, which i will use to find phi and then write uh, sine phi now so uh, this process this is an example now i'll formalize this process so given a polar curve r equal to f theta we know how to find tan phi which is tan phi is r d theta by dr to write pedal equation p is equal to r sin phi we need to know sin phi we know tan phi we need to know sin phi how do i do that here is the standard relation you must have learned in your class 10 or 12 uh that the relation between sin theta and tan theta here it is tan phi is sin phi by cos phi which means sin this is very elementary i'll just read out this slide tan phi is sin phi by cos phi which means sin phi is tan phi into cos phi but cos phi is same as root of one minus sin square phi understand why we are doing we know tan phi i want to find sin phi if i why do i want to do this because i know pedal equation is p equal to r sin phi so i know tan phi because of uh, that equation which we saw r d theta by dr is equal to tan phi so i can find r d theta by dr so I, that means i can find tan phi from that i want to find sin phi that's the crux so tan phi is sin phi by cos phi which is same as saying sin phi is tan phi into cos phi but cos phi is root of one minus sin square phi so this means i'll now sin phi is equal to tan phi into root of 1 minus sin square phi. I square this, I'll get sin square phi is equal to tan square into 1 minus sin square phi. So I take out sin phi common and solve for sin phi. I get sin phi is tan phi divided by root of 1 plus tan square phi. So all the details are given here. You can see it's too elementary. So I know tan phi, I can find sin phi. So p equal to r sin phi, I'll just have to put p equal to r tan phi divided by root of 1 plus tan square phi. That's the pedal equation. Of course, we can do it from elementary principle, first principles also. Many times this helps. So what are the helps for what? To find relation between tan and sine. Draw a right angle triangle. Take this angle to be equal to phi, one of the angles. Then I know uh, tan phi is p by q. P, tan means opposite side by adjacent side. So it is p by q. Um, hypotenuse is root of p square plus q square, which means uh, sine phi is p by root of p square plus q square. So sine phi is p by root of p square plus q square. So if I know tan phi is p by q, then I know sine phi is p by root of p square plus q square. I can use this also directly. So either way, one of the things we'll keep uh, doing. Anyway, I'll show you more examples that hopefully it will make it clearer. Uh, so we start with this curve r equal to a theta we want to prove p is equal to r square by root of r square plus a square uh, for a given curve for this given curve so always you find dr by d theta dr by d theta is clearly a you differentiate this with respect to r you'll get one here and here you will get a d theta by dr so dr by d theta is a uh, so d theta d, d theta by dr so you can direct them I have mean, done a mistake here. D theta by, you differentiate this with respect to R, you'll get 1 is equal to A D theta by DR. So D theta by DR is 1 by A, that's correct. So which means tan phi is R D theta by DR, which is R into 1 by A, which is R by A. So, but I know if tan, I know what is tan, I know I can find sine. That's what I just now told you. This is opposite side by adjacent side. Sin phi is opposite side divided by hypotenuse. Hypotenuse is nothing but root of r square plus a square. 
course, there's a constant term, but if there's a constant term here, it's a proportion basically. R by root of R square plus S square. Then pedal equation is P equal to R sine phi, which is P is equal to R into this. This is R square by root of R square plus S square. That's what you wanted. So that's perpendicular distance. Or if you draw this tan, this curve, we have done this initially in this polar form. If you draw this curve, pick a point on this curve, draw a tangent to that curve at that point, the perpendicular distance of the tangent from the origin is will happen to be r square by root of r square plus s square. That's what we have just seen. Uh, this you can do it directly using that horrible formula if you can remember. So this is the formula. So I know r is equal to a theta means dr by d theta is equal to a. So now use that formula. 1 by p square is 1 by r square plus 1 by r power 4 into dr by d theta, whatever. Some formula was there. So you substitute all this in that, you will get the same thing. I just wanted to show either you can remember the formula and do it, or you can just derive. Actually, you can see derivation is much easier. Let's see more examples. Find the pedal equation of the polar curve. r is equal to a sine cube theta by 3. For this curve, we have already found, but I'm just going through very quickly, d theta by dr. That means you differentiate this with respect to r. So this differentiate derivative of this with respect to r is a 3 sine square theta by 3 into cos theta by 3 into 1 by 3. That is when you differentiate with respect to r. Correct. So d theta by dr is equal to 1 divided by this whatever we got, that is a into 3 sine square theta by 3 into cos theta by 3 into 1 by 3. This means tan phi, which is r d theta by dr, is equal to this r I have used, r is equal to a sine cube theta by 3. So a sine cube theta by 3 divided by all this. Have I missed a factor of 3? No, this 3 and 3 gets cancelled, so I'll get tan theta by 3. So tan phi is tan theta by 3, which means phi is equal to theta by 3. So my pedal equation is p is equal to r sine phi, which means p is equal to r sine theta by 3. So this is the pedal equation. So understand it's very simple. All you have to do is given equation, differentiate with respect to r, find out tan phi, and then write the expression for sine phi and multiply it by r. p equal to r sine phi is the uh, pedal equation. Same thing keeps repeating. Uh, p is equal to r sine phi. So, yeah, okay, many times you don't want this theta to be seen in the end. So, then what you do is you use some algebraic manipulation to get rid of it. So, here, for example, p is equal to r sine theta by 3. I stop there. But uh, I want I want to get rid of this theta. Then you just cube the whole thing. p cube is equal to r cube sine cube theta by 3. Why do I want this? Because sine cube theta by 3 is r by a. So I'll substitute r by a, I'll get r square, r power 4 by a, which is same as r power 4 is equal to p a cube. So this is pedal equation, only advantage here is there's no theta, there's only r and p, that's all. Even this is equally valid. But the examiners would prefer you to write this last step because you want to eliminate theta also, if you can. Uh, find the pedal equation for the polar curve r power n is equal to a power n cos n theta. Again, we have seen this curve before in our past lectures. So for this curve, we had already found out that tan phi is uh, written here. Tan phi is r d theta by dr into d theta by dr is basically this much. How do I get this? You differentiate this with respect to r and c. You'll get n r power n minus 1 divided by derivative of this with respect to theta will be I mean, with respect to r, but uh, d theta by dr, I'm retaining it here. So it will be n a power n into minus n sine theta. So that I have written here. So you simplify this, things will get cancelled. And r power n, in the numerator, you'll get r power n. All this we have done before so is a power n cos n theta. So cos n theta, a power n will get cancelled. n will get cancelled. Cos n theta by sine n theta tan n theta and I get this tan pi by 2 plus n theta because I have a minus here. So then phi is equal to pi by 2 plus n theta, which means once I know phi, I know sine phi. Sine phi is uh, sine of pi by 2 plus n theta, which is same as cos n theta. But cos n theta is r power n by a power n. So this is algebraic manipulation. There's nothing much here. Remember, every time you have to just find tan phi by finding d theta by dr and express sine phi in terms of tan phi and substitute. That's all. <clears throat> so pedal equation is this. 
one more equation pedal equation for the polar curve r power m is equal to a power m cos m theta plus sin m theta so usual way we have done all this before so that's why i'm going very fast tan phi is r d theta by dr so you differentiate this with respect to r and i'm sure you will get this i'm sure i've done it correctly so phi uh, so usual manipulation divided by cos the cos m theta of both numerator and denominator you'll get 1 plus tan m theta divided by 1 minus tan m theta this you use tan a plus tan b divided by 1 minus tan a tan b so that is tan a plus b here a happens to be pi by 4 and b happens to be m theta so phi is equal to pi by 4 plus m theta so pedal equation is p is equal to r sin phi which is r pi by 4 plus m theta uh, sin pi by 4 is 1 by root 2 so i use that sin a plus b sin a cos b plus uh, cos a sin b so sin pi by 4 and cos pi by 4 both are 1 by root 2 so i have taken it out and i have rewritten and done some very elementary uh, algebraic manipulation let's find the last one find the pedal equation for this polar curve a by r is equal to 1 plus b cos theta this also we had done before so tan phi is found in the usual way 1 plus b cos theta by b sin theta uh, so once i know tan phi find sin phi i had told you tan phi if i know explicitly as p by q then sin phi is p square divided by root of 1 plus p square plus q square so carry this out expand it and see that you always use sin square theta plus cos square theta as one so you'll get this horrible looking equation uh, pedal equation is p equal to r sin phi which is this but i want to eliminate theta from this how do i do that for that you have to do a bit of uh, drama uh, we shall do that uh, basically you have to use the equation of the curve a by r so note here what are the expressions anyway i'll write here i what i have is p is equal to r sin phi which is r into 1 plus b cos theta whole square divided by root of 1 plus 2b cos theta plus b square now i will try to get rid of theta from here how do i get rid of it 1 plus b cos theta is a by r and b cos theta is a by r minus 1 so that's what i'll substitute i substituted that and then eliminate uh, not el so i eliminated theta if you leave it here it's okay but uh, many times you would want it to look nice and things like that so you use p a square both the sides so that you get rid of the square root in the denominator you will get this expression i'm sure you can figure this out i will not spend my time on this so that is essentially pedal equation so uh, remember what is pedal equation p equal to r sin phi which means uh, uh, which means basically given polar form of the curve you need to differentiate that to get tan phi and if you know tan phi you know how to find sin phi so you substitute the uh, value of sin phi in p equal to r sin phi that all you get p equal to r sin phi i have shown you the picture uh, before p equal to r sin phi because of this if you have any curve pick up any point on that draw the tangent to that curve at that point and uh, draw the perpendicular distance from the origin to the tangent i call this p and this is anyway r and this is phi so sin phi is p by r so r is equal, p is equal to r sin phi that's the pedal equation pedal equation is basically a relation between p and r and phi you somehow try to eliminate phi theta and things like that using the equation of the curve uh, i think i'll stop here today we will continue again our next part uh, so next time thank you